You know Lance. Yeah. Although you, both of us uh, were a British in this, in this sense, but uh, you weren't here during the mandate. I no, was. No, I, I wasn't. I came. I was brought here in 1928. Yes, yes. And uh, I remember in those days things were certainly quite different from what they are now. No, that's right. But at a certain point in time, even before I arrived in the country at the age of two, there were a lot of Arabs coming uh, from, the, from uh, the Arab countries around here, sort of infiltrating into Palestine because they heard that the Jews were coming and they said, send something good, you know, work and, uh, and a, a bit, the ability to earn yeah. good money and all that. Yeah. And uh, the British, or the British, turned a blind eye to that, yeah. at, whilst at the same time uh, restricting Jewish immigration, contrary yeah. to the Balfour Declaration. Absolutely. But uh, this, of course, had uh, quite a large number of Arabs settling then here by now, and then and, and jumping forward to 1948. Uh, there was there was quite an exodus of Arabs from Palestine, yeah. mostly because of uh, radio announcements from uh, yes from there A A Cairo yes, and yes. Uh, Jordan get a clear out of the way of our victorious armies. Yeah. And once once we've thrown the Jews out, yeah. you can come back and join in the spoils, and yeah. that led to the plight of the Palestine Arab refugees. Yes which nobody seems to be aware of or, or wanting to admit it. No. But I'm going back actually to the period, the actual period of the mandate. The, it was a good life yeah. and a bad one. Hmm. one in, the, in the sense that the, some of the British, some of the British, even the higher-ups, were pro-Jewish, but the, the, the greater majority of, uh, of the uh, authorities, the British authorities here, when, were not particularly pro-Jewish. No. And uh, the, I'd just like to mention two, two things. You know, the King David uh, bombing in 1946. Yes. Uh, many people think, are talking about, uh, who remember it, think of the, the terrible atrocity that it was. Mm. But people are not aware that the IZL, the Etzel, actually phoned it, uh, yeah. thir 30 minutes before the, right. the things went up. They phoned to say that it was. And Sir John Shaw, the chief secretary, refused to uh, evacuate the building. Yes, I can back that up yes. because I, I, you, you also remember Ada Ben Yehuda. Yes, the Ben Yehuda. Uh, Ada and um, they were in the hotel yes. when the bomb went off, yes. and they had come down into the reception area. They were well known to the manager, and they were ordering tea when he came across and said, "Ladies, you must move upstairs." quickly into your bedroom because we have a spot of trouble. And on the way up, they said to him, what's the trouble? And he said, "It's we, we've received a call that uh, that's, there, there's something amiss, something's... And as they got to the bedroom, he, and they opened the door to go in, and he said that he was about to leave them, when literally the whole wing of the King David yes, came the southern down. Wing. And the two ladies were blown across the bed. And he went to help them to get up mm -hmm. and so on. And I, they said to me, well, the British always said they never heard, that there wasn't a single thing, but they said it was perfectly clear that they had heard something. But apparently whoever took the call did not want the officers in the wing to run out in their underwear into the garden. <laughs> I've heard. I've heard that. Yes. And and by the way, the uh, 
I don't know whether you know it, but the Hadassah convoy massacre, yes. that I witnessed it because I was oh. working for Hadassah at the time. Mm. I was on Mount Scopus. Yes. And uh, actually, the, the British police had actually told the uh, Hadassah people that the road was clear, yeah. even though they knew that it wasn't. And uh, there was uh, a small British uh, army detachment right next to the, uh, where the convoy was ambushed. Not that they could do much, but they didn't even try. Yeah. But the, I, I understand that there was one British officer, I think his name was Churchill, no relation to Winston, mm -hmm. who wanted to come to the aid of the uh, convoy, mm -hmm. and the higher up authorities forbade it. And they warned the, uh, they warned the uh, Haganah that if they tried to do anything, they would be fired on. Unbelievable. And that was, well... But even I, with a, a much later experience of the land and you, um, can remember that when I used, I used to love going in the old city, and I used to go in different shops. I got to know quite a few of the shopkeepers. And, um, you know, I used to ask them, uh, were you born here? And then they would say, no, I'm a Beiruti, or I'm a Damascene, or Baghdadi, or Kyrene. Then I began to think, well, where are the Arabs that were born here? There are, there are some who can trace yes, of course. Uh, the lineage, yes. 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 But the vast majority came in from from with for work. Yes, yes. That's how I myself had that experience with yeah. them. They were nice enough shopkeepers, but uh, it was clear that they had come in as families from the neighbouring countries seeking work. By the way, you know, of course, about the uh, British White Paper of May 1939. Yeah. Totally restricting Jewish immigration. Yes, yes. I I witnessed peaceful demonstrations yeah. by Jews on Jaffa Road, yeah. and British police sort of brutally launching into them with batons and hitting them. Yeah. But that reminds me of another incident. It's a curious one on King George Avenue. Hmm. There were some British police harassing some Orthodox Jews. This is, must have been 41 or 42. Mm. And a group of Australian soldiers passing by lashed into those British police. <laughs> well, yes. interesting. So it was a mixed thing. It's like Ord Wingate. Yes. I mean, they moved him, yeah, they uh, frankly, to Ethiopia because they wanted, they found he was quite a problem. Well, his passport was stamped not to, not to be allowed back into Palestine. <laughs> yes. Yes. You know that uh, he's known as the friend. Yes. yes.